Hi, welcome to my channel, DIY Happy Home. My name is Carla and I purchased this wood haunted house at the Dollar Tree. And I removed the twine and I'm planning on painting it apple barrel black. I used a wider brush to paint it to make quick work of the black paint. Next, I took some orange acrylic paint and with a thin brush, I started to paint some pumpkins on the bottom of the haunted house. I decided to paint five pumpkins to represent the five people in my family. Then I decided to paint some spooky ghosts coming out of the windows. To do this, I used Waverly White chalk paint. Next, I decided to add some shingles to the top roof. I mixed up some gray paint using the black paint and the Waverly White chalk paint. To make roof shingles, I am just doing a rough little scallop edge with the gray paint. Next, I got out my chalk marker and I began to make some spider webs on the haunted house. Next, I used a black paint marker to paint faces on the ghosts. Next, I started to outline the pumpkins and mimic little grooves on each pumpkin. Next, I used the paint pen to add spiders onto the spider webs. Then I used the chalk marker to create a couple skulls at the bottom of the haunted house. Next, I couldn't see the black spiders on the black house very well, so I decided to use my chalk marker to outline them. Next, I added some white stems to the pumpkins using my chalk marker. I did it in white so that I could cover it up then in brown and you could see the brown a little better on the black background. Then I did the same thing with pumpkin leaves. I added some white chalk paint and then I followed up with a green Sharpie marker. Then I used my red Sharpie to add red eyes to the spiders. To help the red show up, I used a white chalk marker first and then did the red Sharpie on top of the chalk marker. Next, I drew a bat with the white chalk marker 
and then I lightly went over it in black. And I gave the bat red beady eyes as well. Next, I used some Elmer's glue to glue the haunted house down to a piece of black construction paper. Next, I decided to make a beware sign because this is a haunted house after all. So I wrote beware with my chalk marker and uh, was going to embellish it in brown. Here I am using the brown Sharpie to go over the white chalk marker. Next, I used an orange Sharpie to trace over the word beware. And now I am cutting the black paper that is around the haunted house. And now it's time to draw some spooky eyes in the windows. and a spooky ghost inside the window. Woo. And for one final touch, I added some yellow construction paper to the window that's at the top of the haunted house. Here's the haunted house complete. I took the haunted house and put it on a frame that I already had and then I just took some cardstock that scrapbookers use and I fastened that to the frame and then I just used masking tape to place it on there. I think it'll look really cute in my creepy corner and I can't wait to use it. I also added the Dollar Tree's creepy cloth to the top of the piece. How would you decorate your haunted house? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you subscribe to my channel for future videos. Please also feel free to like, comment, and share. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.